Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm an instructional and e-learning designer, and I'm just going to take you through a few tips and tricks on how I created a video like game like e-learning called A Knight's Quest. This original, um, the original piece was to teach teachers how to choose the right books for their students. Um, but in this version that I'm going to show you, it's all filled with dummy text. Um, so the cool part of this is first you get to put in your name and then you get to move around your knight um, using the backwards and forwards buttons. Just like you're in a video game, there's a little tutorial on how to play and there's uh, different characters. You can pick up items. So here you'll see this is like a helpful Originally, this was a helpful tool for teachers to complete the game um, and they could click on it and bring it up uh, whenever they needed it. And this was another tool that they could pick up. And see here when you hover over this character that triggers the text. OK, so that's basically uh, the game. There's a link if you want to uh, interact with it yourself. So here it is in Storyline. You'll see the fonts aren't working, but that's not a huge deal. Um, so how to move the knight. That was uh, a bit of creative engineering. It's mainly using the motion path feature. So you'll see that I have one for forward and one for backward. Um, and I've named the motion paths. So here on the side, uh, move knight along forward when user clicks picture one or this forward arrow here and then move knight along back which is this back motion path when the user clicks this back button right here and then um, there's this rectangle here I call it backwards rectangle uh, where it jumps to the previous slide if the knight hits this rectangle. So that's what I meant by a little bit of creative engineering. Um, a lot of the sound effects are linked um, as triggers too. This is a very trigger heavy game. Um, and I've kind of set all the interaction points to be equidistant from each other. So like the distance from here to here and the distance from here to here um, is about the same so that I didn't have to do anything crazy with the motion paths. And then here, when you pick up the items, um, it's it's a lot of the same thing. You just use more triggers. So when the knight intersects with this item here, um, you're going to hear audio and you're going to hear uh, you're going to get. Uh, I think what happens is um, a layer pops up down here. One of these layers will pop up. And again, they're equidistant so that um, the knight can progress through. And this hotspot will trigger the queen to talk. Um, so that's how I did that. And then I just want to show you one more, um, which I thought was pretty fun. So uh, we're going to move forward to see the books. Uh, there, we, there it is. Um, and what I have here is this cool little it looks like an animation but it's actually a state change um so when when you hover over this hot spot the state of this image changes from you know the page is undisturbed to the page is flipped so i'll show you how i did that you'll see here if you go into states there's a left flip so you'll see the left flip right there and the right flip. So I'll just hover over those so you can see that. And basically when the mouse hovers over this hotspot, um, the state of this picture will change to right flip. And it also triggers a page flip sound effect. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Everything else um, is pretty, uh, is a pretty much a variation of um, what I just told you. So I hope that is helpful. Um...
Thanks for listening.